After taking an enforced break from building computers for a bit to focus on other things, I am back with my much less strenuous hobby, where this week I am putting together a Ryzen 3600 system with 32 gigs of RAM and a very decent 2070 Super that I have been using for playing games for the past month or so in my office while pretending to work. First, as a cautionary tale, I will draw your attention to this motherboard and the big cap at the back where a lot of USB I.O. should be. When I got home and I tested it, I got a post and put it on the shelf and there it sat for weeks. When it actually came time to use it, I saw all the USBs were absolutely mangled inside and shorting, which left me with no choice but to desolder them from the board. Sure, I could buy some through-board USB ports, but it's much easier and faster to just add a hub if required. And now for a bit of silliness. What I did not pick up immediately was the first PCI slot is taken up by the M.2 drive, which means that the 3 slot RTX 2070 Super that I'm planning to put in there simply have no room to breathe. The moment I put the assembled motherboard in the chassis, the penny dropped. But I persisted, more of as an experiment than anything else. Even before the GPU went in, it was clear that it's probably not gonna work. While I'm putting all of this together with a view to take it apart after I'm done, it's time to tell you about the specs of this PC. I chose a relatively modest 500 watt PSU to power this 2070 Super rig because the CPU is a Ryzen 3600 on a B450 motherboard, so overall no matter how you cut it, it will not use more than 350 watts of power when overclocked. This choice of hardware was informed by the fact that I wanted to hit a specific bill of material cost, but I opted to support it with a 32GB kit of 3600 Mbps RAM that will allow for the extraction of every bit of performance from that 7 nanometer 6 core, making sure it will not bottleneck that beefy GPU. Seeing how going from my open air test bench to that MATX case the GPU temperature shot up by 17 degrees, I obviously had to swap it and I chose full power Fantax I had lying around and I ported over all the components safe in the knowledge that airflow would not be a problem at all. For storage, I used a relatively modest 256GB SSD with a 500GB mechanical hard drive that is, as usual, just thrown in there for good measure. It is taken care of by a brand new set of 6 ARGB fans that are remote controlled and interface with the motherboard's PWM controller. Pity the B450 only has 12V RGB because converting it to 5V RGB usually gives off less than stellar results. Also, the single tower cooler is nothing to write home about, it's a relatively inexpensive single tower thermorite cooler that I picked up brand new from Amazon. This time, I will skip the narration over the benchmark results, not because I'm not excited about the performance of this PC, I've been using it as my main Diablo 4 gaming machine for the past couple of weeks, and I must admit that this RTX 2070 Super, although it no longer has a high end price tag, is good, really good. In games where RT isn't heavily used, it trades blows with a much more expensive RTX 4060, so if gaming prowess and budget are both a consideration, going for the pre-loved option is simply a no-brainer these days, now that the second-hand market has tanked from its previous dizzying heights. Case in point, about a year ago I did a video with a similar 3600 and a 2070 Super build, which I will link in the description for a full game benchmark commentary, and to remind myself that I paid just for that particular 2070 Super at the height of the GPU shortage about 50% more than I am planning to sell this entire build for. And without further ado, here's the PC booting up and being all shiny alongside some pictures, and I shall let you examine the benchmarks and draw your own conclusions. Thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of the video and I shall see you in the next one where I'll be back to my normal format. You are so heartless and you don't care And I don't even know what I've been fighting for You got me hoping and you don't care And I don't even know what I've been fighting for Every time I fall in the Can't fight it, I can't fight it You wreck my mind, I'm losing my sleep And you know that it's all that I need So don't leave me